Hey guys, today in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to split a number into its individual digits in an array, and we're going to do this in Python 3. So what this will do is if we get the number 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this will split it into an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so uh, we can start off by just saying that we have a variable number is equal to this, and this is just a number we're going to use. You can put in any value for this number that you want, um, but we're just going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 because it just does the job. Okay, so now that we have our number, the algorithm we're going to use is that we're going to check, we're, we're going to keep a while loop that keeps checking to see if number is greater than zero. And the reason we do this is because we start off by checking the last digit of the number. And the way we do that is we take the entire number mod 10. So if we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mod 10, that gives us 8. And as you can see, 8 is the last digit of that number. Now once we get that digit, we can add it to our array. So we'll just create another array here called digits. So digits will store an empty array and we'll add our digits to, we'll, we'll add our digits of the number to this array, to this list. And so what we're doing is after we pull this eight, we're going to subtract the number minus that eight value. And that'll give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. Once we do that, we can divide the number by 10 to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then from there, we can repeat the process until number is 0. So what this will look like is that, so let's say we've already done 8. So 8 will be added to digits. And then we'll, we'll repeat again because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is not uh, less than or equal to 0. So we, we pull out the last digit using mod 10. And we add it to the array. And then... We take our number minus number mod 10 and take that divided by um, divided by 10. So this will become this minus uh, 7, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. And then we divide that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0 by 10, which gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And from there, we go from 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, and finally 0. All right, so now let's try and implement this. So let's go back to our original number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so at first, we said that we're going to use a while loop. So while number is greater than 0. Now, we want to first add the, left, the rightmost digit to our list. So to pull that, we take the number mod 10. So digits.append number mod 10. Because if we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mod 10, that'll give us 8. And that gives us the last digit. So that works. Now once we take that number, we want to reduce the number to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we take, we set number equal to the existing value of number minus its mod 10 value. So that's 7. Oh, sorry, that's 8. And then that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 0. And then we just divide that by 10. And the reason I'm using this floor division is just that Python th in Python 3, what happens is that if you use regular division on integers, it'll return a double value, and we don't want that. So we're just going to use floor division just to make it return an integer value. And this is safe because it's always going to return an integer value. So once we set that, this will keep uh, iterating until number is equal to 0. So let's see this in action. So we'll print out the final contents of digits. And let's run this. And so this is our value. Now let's go over again to see why this works. So let's take our number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is greater than 0. So then what we do is we enter this loop and we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mod 10. That pulls the rightmost digit 8 into the array, into the list, because we're appending it here. And then after that, we take the number and we set that equal to its original value minus the number mod 10. And number mod 10 was 8. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 8 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0. Then we divide 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0 by 10. And that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we keep doing that until we get to let's say we let's say we only have 
the number 1 left. 1 is greater than 0, we, we add 1 mod 10 to digits, and 1 mod 10 is 1. And then we set number equal to 1 minus uh, 1 mod 10, so that's 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 divided by 10, that's just 0. Now number is equal to 0, so when we go back again, 0 is not going to be greater than 0. So we know that we've stopped. So what this does is it just adds the digits in reverse order. Now, if you don't care that the digits are in reverse order, if you're just going to use them how they are, then this is fine. But if you wanted them in the order that they were in the numbers, so if you wanted them to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, instead of 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then instead of appending the number just to the end of the list digits, you could instead say insert at uh, specify your index. So we want to insert at 0th index and we want to insert the value number mod 10. So let's run this code and this will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this works for any number that you put in. So I could say 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3, 5, 7, 9 and we could run that. And what will happen is that we'll get our digits all separated. So we get 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now, so that's all we have to do for this. And this is more of a mathematical approach. There are, of course, shorter ways to do this using even string algorithms. But this uh, takes a more mathematical approach. It's more logical. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next videos.